Welcome back, Charge Heads. So we're in a different location today. Uh, we're at Vinny's house because uh, he's got all the tools, haven't you? Uh, I've got some tools, yeah, one or two. Perfect. So um, what are we doing this episode? So uh, as you saw from the last episode, uh, we managed to get the sprocket on, uh, uh, so. And um, this time we're gonna just try and get as much done as possible because I really want to get it done for the fully charged show. Keep your eyes out on our social media to see what's there. Um, that's, the, that's the aim, that's what we're going for. Um, so first of all, uh, we're gonna do something with the battery. Now, uh, the battery, as you know, I bought a used one off eBay, uh, like a sub. Um, and um, it didn't come with a charger. So uh, Vinny, how, how are we gonna solve this problem? So, uh, fortunately for you, I've got a nice little bench power supply there. That's this little badger, which lets us set voltages and currents and stuff. Uh, so we're gonna make a little patch cable between the battery and the charger so we can get that on charge. Uh, that way, hopefully, we'll make up a motor mount, we'll get the motor mounted nicely. It's nice. Not with the um, high quality tools we had last time. No. Then we'll smash into the electrics and see how we get on with that. And hopefully that battery will be connected to there before the sun goes down. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Right, so uh, let's get cracking. So while Vinny is uh, having a go at the battery, I'm taking apart the front wheel to clean up the, um, the brake on the front because it keeps sticking. And by how bad the rear one was, I think it'd be worth doing, especially with the uh, sort of power that we're gonna be putting through. Ah! Uh, brakes, I would say, are fairly essential. This, hopefully, will go to plan. Whatever the off Uh, um, well, the nuts off, so. Uh, 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 um, uh, <laughs> uh. You having fun there? Not really. You have to be real. Hammer! I need a big hammer! <laughs> That small hammer. MC hammer. Can't touch this. Other MCs are available. Stop! Hammer time! Yep. That's falling. That's fine. Right. It's alright, I've got the bike. Okay, we're gonna let... Just... Oh, yeah. There we go. Hey! Just like that. Right, unicycle. Just gonna pop a wheelie uh, all the no, way down the road. bicycle now. Oh, uh, yeah. I've got an electric bike too. We can have a race. There we go. I wasn't expecting it to kind of. Well, it's pretty corroded in there. That's so, why it was uh, not nice. No. So, time to start cleaning. Simply remove it, right? Simply remove it. Uh, well, if we're not learning, we're dying. So you can learn to solder whilst I do that then, eh? <laughs> I'm out of solder. I haven't done it for about 20 years, but... Can I just... Yeah, just pull it that out. That way. Pull it out, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just pull it out and the other one will unhook as well. You can unhook the other one now, the spring's not... Ah, bingo! Actually try and keep it like that so you know how it goes back together. Right, well, the last half an hour, um, we've had a bit of an issue with the brakes here. Um, this little spindle was literally welded. Um, it was stuck, it wasn't going anywhere, so we used some of uh, Vinny's magic juice. Little juice. Um, mechanics special penetrator. Yes, yeah, a cocktail of uh, a base pe penetration with, with some automatic transmission fluid. There we go. The, the cocktail has been uh, yeah uh, revealed. So now I've, I've been working this boards and backwards round and round, and now it's just about right. So we're going to put the shoes back on and uh, get that all um, popped back on with a wheel, etc. And then we're going to start on the money shot, so to speak, um, getting that motor on. Right now we've got the uh, wheel back on. Just want to demonstrate the free wheeling uh, that actually wasn't doing at all. In fact, you had to push the thing forward, but here we go. And there's a brake. One more time. Winner. 
Nice yeah. work. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it took a bit of time, but definitely worth it. Um, I'm sure we get a few few extra meters out of uh, each battery. You definitely get a lot more meters out of the battery. Now, <laughs> yeah, for that sure. That would have been a real hard job. For that 250 watt meter. Yes, 250. That's it. That's it. Right. On to the motor. We've made some progress, and uh, I didn't think there was any point uh, showing us drilling, so uh, we've got that out of the way. I'm just going to show you now, but uh, I was cleaning up all the crap basically out out of this um section here what would you call this is this the the cool mm. it's that that that's what it is suggestions so, in... yeah suggestions and comments yeah, yeah. <laughs> please uh any aerial uh three experts out there um so yeah clean that all up uh we have uh drilled the mounting holes oh, hang on you got one missing that's because I put it the wrong way up to him. Ah, uh, okay. Good job I'm here to make sure things are... Normally it's me that's uh, backwards. So, uh, let's change the net. There we go, yeah. there we go. So we've got the um, drill holes and we've got the... So, hang on. Did you cut it on the right? Oh, you cut them. Lovely. So that's uh, for tightening the slots. Slots there are for tightening the chain. And there was something else, wasn't there? Oh yes, the drill holes on the motor, because we had to uh, form new holes so it would fit on the mounting we've got here. So uh, we're going to start um, mounting that. Oh, now I'm excited. Excited? I'm really excited. Yeah, we're putting the motor on. This well, is brilliant. We will see. Well, <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. Motor on. Let me just plug it in. It works then, right? Yeah, yeah. Simple, simply just plug it in. Get a couple of AAs. We've got a big AA over there. Hey! Hey! With its new connector. So, the moment of truth. Will the motor fit? Uh, I hope so. After lots of hard work, mainly Vinny's, if I'm honest. And then, next, we will be popping the... Uh, sprocket back on and lining up the chain then we can start just connecting all the wires and getting the battery fitted give it a test and also um yeah make a cradle for the battery oh pants no washers god damn it rewind and as if by magic the washers are on Bottom ones are done as well, I'll just tighten these last top two up. And then we are nearly there. Oh, looky here. The chain is on. Yep. Yeah, yes. On. A little bit of movement. We might need to adjust Look that. Look at that. That looks epic. Right, I'll send you home now, you can do the electrics, right? Yeah, yeah, just, just plug it in, right? Uh, yeah, that's it. Simply plug it in. There was a uh, the, the slots there um, which help us adjust and tighten the chain. Um, so, so yeah, it's on. The motor is on. Look at that. Good work. So, I better go and get the, um, the back bit so we can work out where everything's going to go. Absolutely. Right, so we're really cracking on with the EV conversion, um, aided by uh, junk food. And uh, we've managed to fit the controller, so drilled at the back, and then uh, fitted it like a so. So it fits nicely in there. And um, Vinny has been very hard at work um, creating yeah. something out of stainless steel. We had pretty much the perfect uh, size bit of stainless steel um, to fit the battery uh, in and uh, he's used his bending tool to look at that and where's the battery got it so that yeah so we're going to put it to the side so the uh, wires can fit through there and that fits beautifully um, but we just need to Chop it off. Chop that little bit off. And we are really motoring with this now. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to uh think do you think we'll get it uh do you think we'll get it all uh 
started. Hopefully, we'll get it started tonight. We'll yeah, just keep I'm cracking on. I'm going to jinx it. I'm going to say we'll get done what we get done. How that's that? that's a good idea. Good idea. <laughs> So uh, uh, I thought I would show you guys these uh, rivet nuts, uh, which we're actually fitting to help um, attach the stainless steel battery tray, I suppose you'd call it. Um, so yeah, and uh, yeah, so pop this in there, whack those in, um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna put some insulation so it's uh, not gonna move about. It's definitely not gonna move forwards to backwards because it is snug as a bug in a rug in there. So that's all cushy mushy Lovely. And uh, we need to just hammer this down so it's not sticking out so much. Form just, it. Uh, okay, form it. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's probably slightly be uh, more suitable. Uh, that, that's what you hear, I told you. You know, I can't speak, that's fine. No, you can speak. Yeah, well, that's the technical term. That's it. No, I don't get technical. All right, well, before we get it all together. Yeah, we're going to do a little test uh, because I've connected the... Because there's a lot of wires. <laughs> yeah, so we've we've just connected it for now, wrapped on the insulation tape just to make sure that is safe. Uh, yeah, they, they're actually bolted up and then insulation tape around them. Then we've got this one connected, which is for the motor, this particular plug here. And then the other two plugs, one is for the throttle and one is for the ignition. Um, and then we've got all these other ones left over, like the, the chagging port, of course. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, we've got, um, we've got it like, so we're not gonna, um, we're not gonna bolt it down just yet, because we wanna have a little test, because we're not sure whether the, it's gonna go forwards or backwards yet, isn't that right? Yeah, that's just how this type of motor works. Yeah. Um, obviously, so, depending on the design of the motor, it will turn one direction when you apply power. That might be the yeah. opposite to what we need. Yeah, I don't fancy Quite going easy going in reverse. Swap round. Um, well, it will just free wheel. So, so why, we, why aren't we plug it in? We are going to plug it in a minute, but we're going to take it outside and do that. Just why? in case uh, something... It blows up. Yeah, basically. Yeah, lithium really batteries... In... My house down. No, lithium batteries and inside. Not a good idea. Right, let's wheel it out. Oh, it's getting exciting, isn't it? Although, soon if we if if we do get it working, I won't be able to see where I'm going because there's ugly lights. Have you got a head torch? Maybe. Sweet. Right. right we're ready for, for a fire. As you can now, tell, it's we? dark. Wait, wait, wait. Can you just uh, point out the lovely wiring oh, we have yes. here? So we've got pink very, cable very ties and uh, yes, <laughs> definitely trip a, hazards. <laughs> definitely a tomorrow job that one. Yeah, for sure. Is there a way I can get both my hands in there so we can do a quick... Don't create thing? a circuit. I do know that. I'm about to create a circuit. Well, yeah, not between yourself. No, well, it's harder than you'd think. I think, I think it's it's more exciting, the fact that we're doing it and it's dark. Oh, you know? I think it's not because I'm you can't see not get knocked out by a camera and <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. It's time to do this. Dangerous equals exciting. <laughs>